Learn to fight. Yo, John Fitch here. And I got another episode of Learn to Fight for you. And this time, we're going over uh, a training session that I had with one of my students. There's not too much technique in this, but this is the most important technique I could ever teach you or anyone else. It's so obvious that it's funny. And you'll see my uh, student laugh because it's, it's ridiculous when people try to tell me that, oh, you need to know how to box. You need to know how to throw hands when it's time to fight. If, if you're doing a unsanctioned fight or a uh, professional or amateur fight, yeah, but no, most cases, if you're far enough away to throw punches and kicks, you're far enough away to keep moving away. No fight. That's the most important technique you could ever learn in self-defense. How to leave, how to leave. So I'm gonna show you this. Hopefully you can hear the audio. I'll try to make sure it's, it's as loud as I can for you. I didn't have a mic on when I was filming this. You'll, 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 you'll get what I'm saying here. Why the, oh, you gotta, you gotta know how to box everybody. That boxing is the best self-defense thing you can learn. No, it's not, it's really not. You, you may need to know th two strikes, that's about it. Knowing how to leave and how to get away and recognize that you're far enough away to leave that's probably the most important thing you can learn. Now what I do here is I, I tell him about get into a situation like you're gonna attack me or you're squaring off with me to get into a fight. And initially he's like, oh, I don't wanna do that. And I was like, just for an example, pretend like you put your hands up and you're gonna fight. So I'll explain to him and you'll have to listen here about what I'm explaining to him, what I think about somebody displaying that they're ready to fight you, whether they lay, lift their hands up to, to fight you, this is what you should do, all right? So just listen here and, and uh, Learn something. So listen up. This conversation, and you yeah. raise your hands up because you're gonna fight me. Well, I'm not gonna. Well, me? Yeah. If you're 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 some type of bar. Well, and Tom lifts his hands <laughs> up to that. display. He displays. What do I do? Right. Leave. Why? <laughs> I leave. Right. Why? Why engage? You see? Leave. You're far enough away. Throw punches and kicks. Leave. Go away. There's absolutely zero reason. Unless you're cornered. There's there's zero reason. And even if you're cornered, you'll probably be able to utilize clinch to turn the guy around and get out and get away and leave the other direction. The only real time you're ever gonna have to strike is probably if you are in a situation where there's multiple attackers and you've got to do damage to create space to keep moving away. He's not, he's not attacking you. He's, he's not coming forward, he's not whatever. He's not doing anything. He's right there. If he displays, he's gonna fight me. If he displays, he's got a knife or a gun. Bye. Why am I even there anymore? It's dumb. Watch it forward to the video. Really? It's all the trash. I'm at a bar and a drunk guy. The trash is Squares up on me. I don't stand there and hear the face of weight. Telling him, you get, in, you get into a bar, somebody's got an attitude, you're out somewhere in public, somebody's got an attitude, you don't stand there with your hands behind your back and your hands down by your side and get nose to nose with them. You don't let them within that, that range I talk about, an arm's length and one step. If they're an arm's length and one step away from you, they're too close. Hands up, you're either got, you either gotta move away so that that space gets bigger and they're not within that space, or you gotta go hands on and it's time to grapple and take advantage of the situation to dominate the situation. All right, hopefully nothing happens and you can snap him down to the ground and leave. You can push him around and it has you have fall over and leave, or you can push him into the wall and uh, restrain him until he realizes that it was a bad idea to square up with you. When they do press, if I can't, if like it's a cheap shot and you can't get away, yeah. that's when you go yeah. forward and push going. Yeah. Well, now you're in control. Yep. Yeah. You're like a school kid. <laughs> So right there at the end, you see I'm talking about they press you and you can't create distance. You can't move away. That's when you, you, you set the frame, you move forward, you protect your dome, make sure you don't get knocked out. You close distance, you go hands on. You're gonna have to learn how to hand fight. I had him cornered there. If the situation was reversed, that, that's when you would do that. Because otherwise I have room to get away. I have room to escape. I have room not to engage. I don't have to fight. It's not a job. I'm not getting paid. I'm not getting a belt. I'm not getting pats in the back. The only thing I'm gonna win by getting into a fight is jail time, legal fees, injuries, maybe even dead. <laughs> What's the point? If you really wanna fight, you really wanna be a tough guy, there's plenty of organizations for you to find a home. Bare Knuckles, King of the Streets, Hardcore Fighting, Bellator, UFC, whatever. You can, you can go to Russia 
and you can fight in like armor. M1 has a thing where they have guys who fight with swords and shields and armor. Go do that, tough guy. Go do that. But this is just a little, little free lesson for you guys. No charge. No charge. You guys educate yourselves. No reason to engage. Oh, he said mean words. I gotta hit him. Ugh. You're dumb. You're dumb. I laugh at you. I laugh in your face. You're dumb. Have fun in prison with Bubba. I'm sure they'll enjoy you. Tough guy. They love tough guys in prison. I hope this clears some things up for you guys. I hope you'll understand what I'm talking about when I say that grappling is far superior for self-defense and it's more likely that you're going to have to need to know that than you are striking. You're gonna have to know way more about grappling than you are about striking. You could only learn two punches, the jab and the straight cross. That's it. That's really all you need to know to create space and leave. If you're trying to be a professional fighter, then yeah, okay, learn all the combinations. You're gonna do Muay Thai? Yeah, learn everything. You're gonna do MMA? Yeah, learn everything. Because you're gonna have to use it. But self-defense, it's just not wise to sit in the pocket and throw three to six punch combinations. You're gonna, you're gonna break your hand. Maybe you'll slip throwing one of those punches, fall down or you're gonna drop your hand or he's gonna counter or something's gonna happen and you're gonna get knocked out. There's no reason whatsoever to square up with somebody and engage in a self-defense situation. If you have enough space to strike, you have enough space to create more space and leave. I hope this clears some things up for you guys because there are so many geniuses on the internet that love to tell me how fighting works. You guys are so smart. Psh. Man, 30 plus years in combat sports, you guys are so much smarter and experienced than me. Man, I'm so dumb. Uh, uh, you're so smart. Tell me more, guys. You've never been to fight in your life, but you know everything. Uh. It's so frustrating. Spurgs really, really are, <laughs> are annoying. They're really annoying. Go to the gym, guys. Train. Learn how to fight. Learn some fundamental skills in grappling. You want to learn the straight cross and the jab? Awesome. There's situations where you can use it. I, I fainted that knee in the wall too. There's situations where you can throw those things in there, maybe throw some elbows if it needs to be escalated. You always have to remember justifiable use of force. We have the uh, subway guy uh, who got choked out. He was a career criminal and probably a psychopath who should have been in an institution, but a uh, good Samaritan stepped in and tried to help people out and now he's <laughs> getting tried for murder. So you guys gotta be careful. You gotta learn how to do things appropriately with the correct use of force. Somebody says something foul to you and you beat the crap out of them and knock them out, throwing elbows into the face, that's not just justifiable use of force. It's not. I don't care what people say about sticks and stones may break my bones, but words last forever, no. No, they don't. Your feelings change constantly. You are in control of your feelings. You're in control of your mental state. You do not get to use the excuse that someone used a word against you and now you have to take violence against them. It's pathetic. It's a pathetic argument. Get it out of your head. It's not okay. You need to be Teflon against insults and bad comments. Laugh at them. Insults always come from beneath, always. Every time someone insults you, you should smile. Right? You should smile because you're doing something right because that guy's jealous. Hate always comes from beneath. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you learned something. I hope this was helpful. If you don't have a gym or something to go to right now, download my courses. I have a free course and then another course. Intro to Practical Self-Defense is free. The Practical Self-Defense, you got to pay for but it's more of what I'm showing with my student here. I'm going to have some more of these videos with some excerpts from working with my student. He's 175, 180 pounds uh, in his 50s, right? So he's not a spring chicken. And you'll see with some of the other videos that I'll put with him, he's, he's fully able to handle and, and, and uh, do well in attacks, against attacks. So you guys need training. If this guy can do it, if this guy, he's in his 50s, can learn to do this stuff, you can do it too, okay? He's not an athlete, he's an accountant. It's a numbers guy. He was in the military from 17 until he was done with that thing. What, 17 to 21, I guess? He's been an accountant since. So if he can do it, he got no excuses, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. I'll check y'all later.